the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. Are you kidding? Hello everyone, it's Thursday and welcome to another new product post. We've got a couple neat things this week, so we'll have you winning like a warlock in no time. Here we've got a couple of neat little buttons to talk about. The interesting thing about these buttons is they actually have an LED built into them, so you can light these up, which is pretty rad. We have them in five different colors. We've got a green, a red, an orange, a blue, and a white. Because of the LED built into them, they have a bit of a peculiar footprint. However, we do have a breakout board made for them. And these solder right in, and then you get the four pins out, and it looks a little something like this. So let's see what these look like when they're on. We've got a simple sketch running that when we press one of these buttons, the light will go away from it. So it's pretty neat, and with a different variety of colors, we could see using these in a lot of different applications. Here we've got a handy little thermal printer. These things are really neat because they can run off 5 volts, you can connect it directly to an Arduino and just send it serial commands, and they don't require ink. So all you need is a thermal paper. You can keep printing forever and ever and ever and you don't need to replace any ink cartridges. So that's pretty neat, and we've got some example code up on the website that you can look at, and we're going to hook one of these up and show you what it looks like. The printer isn't the fastest in the world, but it still is a printer. And the fact that you don't need ink is pretty neat. And the nice thing is it can also print barcodes. And of course you could use this for some pretty sweet ASCII art. So there you have it. That's our printer, and we hope to see these in some projects soon. Here we've got a non-invasive current sensor. This guy can measure up to 30 amps worth of current, and it has this nice little opening that you just open it up, clamp it around your cable, and then plug the other end into your microcontroller or whatever else. So you can use this for a lot of things. You can measure the current going through any type of cable, so you can make a power meter or reduce your energy consumption or anything like that. So these are the products that we have for this week. As always, we have more on the website, so go ahead and check out the whole post and see what other products we have. And hopefully there's something in here that you can use and something you're just dying to have. So we'll see you again next week for even more new products. <laughs> it's so beautiful.